Did we break the shield? Or what are we saying? Okay, we didn't break the shield, but I still like that damage. Welcome back to another Dance Squared video, you Danimals. Seven Star Meganium is here, and it's not hitting the same as a lot of the old terror raids you stupid people. You probably skipped this terror raid, or you're just not watching this video. But you know what doesn't get old? Our story tradition of beating the seven star terror raid Pokemon with their sons and daughters. We're continuing a story tradition that dates back to beating seven star Mewtwo with Lechonk. Then we went to beating seven star Hisui and Decidueye with Rowlet. Then Hisui and Typhlosion with Cyndaquil. Hisui and Samura with Oshawott. Blaziken with Torchic and Empoleon with Piplup. Then the three Kano starters. And now the legacy continues with Chikorita defeating Meganium. Here is a high level look at the latest entry in the Danimal Terror Raid books, Chikorita. Above it, you will see his mother, the seven star Meganium that we defeated with it. We, I'm still trying to beat Meganium with four Chikoritas. I'm gonna try that on my TikTok stream around 8 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, April 11th. So if you're watching this as soon as it releases, come join the TikTok stream. Otherwise, if I actually get it working, I'll post it as a short up there so the card will be there. Either way, if you still need to get the win or you want to farm Meganium, Decidueye is the way to go for solos and group raids. Check out that video if you haven't already. But now, let's zoom in on the star of today's video, Chico Danrita. This build is Terra Ghost to give that ever so important immunity to Meganium's body press because holy cow does it do a ton of damage after the curse spam. To further increase the survivability of Chikorita because after all, it's a starter or first partner Pokemon, so its stats are garbage. So it uses the Eviolite held item to survive for an extra 50% boost to its defense, special defense. It has a max special attack EVs, max defense EVs, and the final four in HP. It's a special attacking build. Again, special attackers are gonna fare a lot better against Meganium because the way it uh, spams curse to increase its attack and defense. So special attack is the way to go. That's why we have a special attacking Chikorita with a modest nature to increase its special attack while lowering its attack, giving it a solid enough special attack at 216 and defense at 213. I know I just slandered it because I mean, Meganium is my least favorite starter, but I do like Chikorita and Bayleaf. So shout out to those respectable stats. Its ability doesn't matter. None of them really help us here. <laughs> and our moves are gonna be Mud Slap to charge our Terra Orb and lower Meganium's uh, accuracy. For the four Chikorita method, it's all about Mud Slap, it's all RNG. But yeah, any chance to make it miss, it just helps our survivability. It's RNG based, so it's kind of chaotic. And we have Ghost Terra, Terra Blast. That's how we're gonna deal some damage. But before we see our Chikorita in action, I got a nice Dan, Dad joke, Dan joke for you. <clears throat> hey Dad, how heavy is this lamp? I don't know. Usually lamps are pretty light. Get it because, you know, lamps make light. Ah. All right, let's just get into the gameplay. Oh my goodness, he, he got the taunt off before the reflex and light screen? Oh no, that was after, okay. <laughs> the first step to defeating Meganium with Chikorita, like with any meme build, is to let the our supporters put in work. So right now we're gonna see the shiny Mew is our taunting Mew. We want to stop the curses as much as possible. That just helps our survivability early until I'm able to terrestrialize. Then the, the two Mews are going to lunge it out, get that attack down. Our Mewtwo has chilling water. So at this point, it's at minus five. I got the Eviolite like we just saw. So I'm free to just Mud Slap and start lowering its accuracy to further increase my own survivability while I'm charging my orb. I really want to get my orb charged as ASAP as possible <laughs> because I want to become Ghost Terra and immune to body press. So we can get we can negate its attack all we want, but as long as I can get hit by body press, I am in danger. Which is why which is what makes Meganium such a difficult Terra raid. But I appreciate the difficulty. It's it's definitely presented a unique set of challenges for us so I got one more and luckily okay we're avoiding that beautiful beautiful 
And a great name by High Council member Cody's Mew. It's Cody. Oh, it's Mew Dan. But again, I want to I want to give a quick shout out to members of the Danimal High Council, Josh V, Cody the Fool, and Stevo, aka Joey, for helping me put this strategy together, and they're helping me film it right now. And thanks to all the Danimals who watched it live on stream. You can see they're yapping over there. It's great. Love it. So now we got negated. So now what Mewtwo can do is it can start charging up. So it's going to use three nasty plots, then power swap it over, alley-oop it, and I'll be able to start swinging for some real, real damage. Normally, when you want to charge up a special attacking ally, you would use Manaphy with Heart Glow Tail Swap, but Manaphy is a water type, so it's more susceptible to a Seed Bomb. So I like those stats. So now I'm going to Terrastalize and Mud Slap again. Why Terrastalize Mud Slap? I want to Terrastalize so I don't get hit by Body Press. And if I don't use an attack and we let the 60 second move timer go, I'll use Mud Slap without Terrastalizing. But now I'm safe. I'm safe from Body Press. The only thing that could hurt me would be a critical hit or when it negates its negative effects. But for the time being, feeling pretty safe. There's a power swap. So now look at this. Look at this beauty. Once it loads, it will load. Oh, yeah. Plus six special attack. Then it's at minus six special defense. We might, we might see some damage here. Let's see, Chikorita. Defeats your father. Yeah, bang. Big damage. Takes out half of the shield in one foul swoop. Love it. The Chikorita. So it should be only one more. It hasn't negated anything. Now it's a jailbreak. Chico Danita. Or I guess it should be Chica Danito if it's a boy. It's fine. Shield broken. We're coming for you, Meganium. Yeah, you should succumb to that onslaught. All right, so we remove negative effects from itself, so we gotta chill out, we gotta chill. Chill, chill, chill. Our taunting me was right on it with the taunts. And oh my, this support, this support. The second the shield is them. The support in this raid right now, they have the fastest hands in the West. Look at them, go. That Mew just got off three attacks. <laughs> Alright, good damage. And the chilling waters are coming. Uh, Danimus, let me know in the comments what you are using to take down Meganium. There's not many, not many builds that, that can solo this thing. There's some fun ones. I liked seeing... Uh... Oh, yes. On the stream that I filmed this, someone used a support Smeargle list. Great job. I've been hearing some fun things about support Malamars. Love me some contrary skill swap. Topsy turvy nonsense. But right now, this is. What are we, one hit away, two hit away? From continuing our most treasured terror raid tradition here at the Danimal Kingdom. It's nice. Minus four. Okay, so we could be a couple away. I'm going to keep swinging. I did PP up, actually. I do love to forget PP upping. But I remember this time. I did remember my Dan Squared shirt. Because I when I filmed the Decidueye, I forgot all about it. Yeah, because but I'm grinding two in one day. Until we come back from vacation. And again, if you haven't heard me yap about it, Nashville rocks so hard. And so does that. So does Chikorita. It is funny to me that no matter what, Meganium gets a short end of the stick. It finally gets to be in a seven star terror raid. And I go on vacation and just, it's like the first terror raid. Everyone's like, who cares? Like, but it's fine. Poor Meganium. And now it's going to get bodied by its own son. Proving that Meganium is the worst Pokemon in its own line. The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Chikorita defeating Meganium. The legacy lives on.